me drown. His voice is distinctive, even if his face is elusive. <laughs> Orville Peck is a real-life mass singer who's packing music venues, making this lone ranger far from lonely. Where did the idea come from to actually do a mask? I kind of liked bringing back that trope of like the outlaw and the mystery behind it. What's the response people have to it? Uh, the first few years were interesting. <laughs> I think now everyone's kind of gotten used to it. At first, his masks were draped with fringe. These days, he's revealing a bit more. The one thing he has never hidden is being gay. Before you were able to break through, was there a point where you thought, I'm a queer artist, that's going to make it hard for me to make it big? I'll be honest, not really. When I first started, that didn't ever cross my mind. You know, all I thought was, uh, I'm going to write love songs and tell stories that are my stories. And, you know, for me, my love songs are about loving men. See the boys as they walk on the... Fittingly, this is the only childhood picture we have of Orville, who was born in South Africa and raised in Canada, where he first heard a Johnny Cash album and was hooked. Roses from falling for you. Today, many say he sounds like Cash, just one of many old school crooners who've inspired him. How do you describe your music to folks? I describe my music as country, and then sometimes I get people giving me a strange, like, kind of like a ooh. And then I say, no, no, it's good country. <laughs> Being in your arms is what I came here. So good, his new album, Stampede, features duets with legends, a cover of Saturday Night's All Right with Elton John, Saturday. a new song, Midnight Ride with Kylie Minogue and Diplo, and this tune with one of his heroes. Cowboys are frequently secretly fond of each other. What did you think all them saddles and boots was about? The song, titled Cowboys Are Frequently Secretly Fond of Each Other, was written in the 80s, then covered about 20 years ago by Willie Nelson, who recently asked Peck if they could sing it together. I didn't realize how much validation and healing would sort of come from that, because I think not having that queer country visibility growing up uh, it, it's like the most sort of encouraging, validating thing for like that little kid in me as well, you know? Also validating, receiving GLAD's Vito Russo Award this year for accelerating LGBTQ plus acceptance. It was presented by his close friend, Jennifer Lawrence. There is a solidness and a self-respect in love that Orville has for himself that he effortlessly casts onto other people. You're maybe not on a lot of the top 40 country stations, but you have this huge following, and I feel like being yourself is a part of that, right? A thousand percent. The second I decided to just be myself completely unapologetically, you know, it's, it's when things started really connecting for other people as well. The power of what can happen when your true self is unmasked. This summertime. So I went to an Orville Peck concert in Chicago, and what's extraordinary is the diversity of his audience from true blue country fans who are in their 60s and 70s to queer kids and drag queens, and he loves just looking out and seeing that diversity. Volume one of his duets album, Stampede, is already out. Volume two drops in August and will feature even more duets, including songs with Beck and with Mickey Guyton. Volume one yeah. is, I, I play it almost every other day. My father-in-law last summer was like, you gotta check out this Orville Peck guy. Listen yeah. to him. I mean, his voice, and he writes. And he writes his he own songs. Writes his own so, stuff. It's extraordinary like, stuff. And, I and just, a lot I of I saw him first on like a Shania documentary and I was like, mm. who's the guy with the mask? Yeah. And all of a sudden you hear them together and you see the respect of the artist and you're like, oh, cool. Wow. He did a great yeah. song with Shania a few years yeah. ago too. So I knew you'd like that. I think he'll ever <laughs> take the mask off and perform. And, well, we'll say, I mean, you know, it's changed over time, but to him, Shrink the mask, the same way he sort of He's like Dolly Parton wears wigs and, yeah. you know, the yeah. sequence to him. That's just part of his part aura, of his, yeah. you know? Okay, so. cool. By the way, this is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Got my own costume hey. this morning. <laughs> you know what? Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.